New at 5, police arrest a school bus driver from Naugatuck. Grace McPhail is accused of driving the bus recklessly with two teens on board who police say were smoking marijuana. Channel 3's Jennifer Lee is live at Naugatuck Police Headquarters to break this all down for us. And Jen, you were saying this happened last night while the driver was off duty. Yes, it did, David. The driver was not working at the time, but she was driving this school bus. The teens on board, they're not students of hers that are on this school bus route, but police say the bus, it was traveling erratically and that someone noticed. Naugatuck emergency. What's the address of your emergency? Police take a concerning call involving a school bus speeding and blowing through stop signs. I'm chasing a bus. The bus, I think there's kids in there that are... Police say the kids are acquaintances of the driver, Grace McPhail. She was pulled over and arrested last night, and the school bus was towed. The 48-year-old faces several charges for risk of injury to a child, trespassing at Breen Field during off hours, and for possessing marijuana. It's unfortunate because, you know, the vast majority of the bus drivers are out there are doing a very tough job every single day. McPhail works for First Student Bus Services in Middlebury. We stopped by her home in Naugatuck today. Police say she had permission to drive the bus from home to work, but not for personal use. A spokesperson with the bus company tells Eyewitness News, quote, we are incredibly disappointed by the actions of our driver. Behavior such as this is completely unacceptable and totally at odds with what we stand for as a company. We have initiated the termination process. McPhail's bus route was in Southbury. Police say the two teenagers on board were not students and one was a relative of McPhail's. The incident also happened while she was off the clock. The superintendent of Region 15 schools says, quote, none of our students were in danger at any time prior to the incident. When things like this happen, it's our protocol to validate and verify background checks again to make sure nothing was missed. This was a poor decision outside of the jurisdiction of the school district. And as far as we have heard, McPhail's background check, that came up clear. She is in custody tonight on a $25,000 bond. Coming up in one hour, the bus driver's explanation as to why she was driving so fast. Reporting live in Naugatuck, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.